So let's say I want to create I, I want to create a plot of the wall shear along this boundary here. And the wall shear being an important parameter in hemodynamic or blood flow analysis. So what I do is first when I create my mesh, I <clears throat> break out the name selection. So I have a name selection just for that boundary. And here I've called it wall. And you can see, you know, that one I've given it a different name selection and so on. So I can plot each of, you know, I can plot, watch, plot wall shear for each of these or uh, combinations of these. Um, that's an important thing to do. And when you go into fluent, you need to set wall boundary conditions for each of these, i.e. the no slip boundary conditions. And that is the default um, in fluent uh, for, for, the, for any boundary. So, and then when you come into CFD post, um, what you do is you <clears throat> um, create a location, okay? So you go into location and you say polyline. And you can give it whatever name you like. And while creating the polyline for the method, you say boundary intersection. And the first entity that you want um, and the boundary list is symmetry one, which is actually the flow domain. And the intersection of symmetry one with the wall boundary. Okay. And then you say apply. So that's created polyline one and you can see it's highlighted in green here. Um, and I can confirm that. So if I turn that off, the green disappears. And if I turn that on, the green appears. Then when I create a chart for the wall shear, so I, I've already created it. And so you just say location polyline one. And for the, you know, along the horizontal axis, you can plot y, which is the y distance, y coordinate along that boundary. And along the vertical axis of the plot, you can plot wall shear, for instance. And you say apply, I'll go to the chart viewer. And so that gives me the wall shear along the left boundary.